Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gary, and if you don't know, sometimes I make videos about makeup. And today, I'm doing another video about makeup. Go figure. Um, so, I had ordered from Hip Dot, and it came in, and I'm super excited. And I actually put this in my fridge. So, I'd ordered the SpongeBob collection. And I'm super excited about it, and I wanted to open it on camera, and we can kind of go through everything. And I think I'll do one of the face masks while I'm talking about it. So this is kind of how it came. Let's see if I can get it open here. So it does come with, if you order the entire collection, it does come with some face masks, and this is one of them. And we're going to put this on while I'm talking about it, because I think that'll be fantastic fantastic spongebob this is called the best face ever it is glow plus hydrate face mask with marine protein and a hyaluronic acid there's no need to dive into bikini bottom to hydrate and refresh your face when you can relax with these marine protein face mask with hyaluronic acid featuring spongebob and patrick it's cruelty free vegan paraben free talc free and mineral oil free does it have directions it doesn't say anything it literally doesn't say anything about how long it's supposed to be on, anything like that. But we're going to try it. So it does come with four. This is, you can order everything separately, but I ordered the bundle. So it does come with two SpongeBob's and two Patrick's. Fantastic, right? I mean, who doesn't want to put SpongeBob on your face? This is what the back looks like. He's lounging in his chair, and then we've got Patrick in his little recliner here. But of course, I've got to go right in with the SpongeBob. So pretty easy to open. My face, I'm not, I don't know that I'm ready to put on makeup yet. Like I'm still on some medication and stuff, and everything's a little weird, and my skin's just. I don't know that it's ready for it. So this is the sliminess that it is when you take it out. And there's a lot on it. Let's see what it's like. So I'm going to put this on. Oh my gosh. First of all, <laughs> it is really cold because it's been in my fridge. And I like it because it's warm in here because of all the lights. So let's try to put this on. It's a little folded over so it's hard to get it just right. But I really want to smooth it on. There's a lot of, I mean, look at my, my hands are. Do I look like SpongeBob? What does he do? I, I, I. Is that how he laughs? I'm kind of, I'll admit, I'm a little, I want to say old, but I miss, like, I, I don't know that I was young enough to really start watching Spongebob. What is going on? Okay, so this is, like, what the mask looks like. It's a little crazy. And, of course, my beard and stuff, but it sticks pretty good. And as you can see, it folds over quite a bit. It's smooth. I have it on. Of course, it's not going to stick to my beard very well. And my hands are really gross. So we're going to leave this on as I'm talking about stuff. Hopefully it's not too, too bad and you can understand me pretty well. This is a SpongeBob mask. Sorry, I keep looking into my, my, um, computer screen because I don't have the mirror in front of me which I probably should as I drop everything once again you will look crazy with this on but it feels good I do recommend putting it in the fridge because I think that's really a nice hyaluronic acid it's very good for your face so let's go ahead and get through the other stuff so like I said it does come with and there's a lot of there's some juice left in here so you can kind of smear that all over your face later if you want to i know i look crazy but this it's going over my mouth and it's driving me crazy maybe i shouldn't be talking when i'm doing this 
But, so this is the Spongebob mask. This is what it looks like. Very cooling, like I said, I had it in the fridge. And they also have the Patrick one, which is Patrick's face here. And I believe they are exactly the same. This says, okay, so this one, excuse my phone. The, this one has the marine protein and hyaluronic acid and the Patrick one has the seaweed and the hyaluronic acid. So I'm interested to try that. I really needed a good pampering after everything that I've been through. And it's even better when you can look like SpongeBob. I mean, who doesn't want to look like SpongeBob? Do I look crazy? Yes. So the set also came with the Jellyfish three pack lip gloss set, which I'll try on after I take this off. I'll at least try on the lip gloss because um, it's easy to get off. And then it also came with the Sandy Cheeks. Super cute packaging. This is the blush and bronzer palette. And let's open this up. That's what it looks like. This is the back. Then on the inside, like I said, it's blush and bronzer. It has a mirror, cute little mirror. And then that's what the blush and bronzer looks like. Super excited for that. Such great packaging. I think for the whole bundle, like you can get the box, which costs like $30 or $40 more. But the whole set was just right under $100 for everything you see here. And then let's go on to the palette, which is the big... This is the Hip Dot SpongeBob palette, Bikini Bottom. That's what it looks like. Get hooked on these 15 shades from the deep blue sea inspired by your favorite yellow sponge, SpongeBob SquarePants, and all his friends. Let's just say everyone this side of Bikini Bottom will have their eyes on you. Cruelty-free, vegan, paraben-free, talc-free, mineral oil, and it's good for 12 months once it's been opened. And I have another palette from Hip Dot, and what I do like about their palettes is how they stand, is because when you open them, I don't see a lot of people talking about that, but it does have a mirror. It is going to be a little foggy because they took it out of the fridge, but let me take that off. So these are the colors. They are really pretty. And the names are Treatum Bikini Bottom Blue, Best Shade Ever. Let me see if I can get in frame here. We've got Wumbo, Penny Pinchers, Coral Floral, Angry Tentacles, um, Imagination, Meow, 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 Jump Jellyfish. We have Rock Bottom. We've got Deep Sea Blue, Golden Pineapple, Blue Lagoon, and Advanced Darkness. Just really cute. But the back of these, so... I talked about this with my last one, but this is how it sets up. So when you open it, you can set it down and the mirror won't just flop over because it's got a little thing that it keeps it from doing that. So that is super cute. I really like this. I'm a sucker, as you guys know, I'm a sucker for packaging. So anything that is like pop culture related sort of thing i am all about it so this is like i said this is from hip dot this is the hip dot slash x spongebob slash hip dot x spongebob palette and the face mask plus the cheek and bronzer plus the lip glosses i think they're really cute i think the packaging is cute i think this feels really good so I think it's been on long enough. I've had it on for about 10 minutes. If I didn't have a beard, I think it would stick better. But this is a little crazy, so we'll take this off. That's what the face mask looks like. It's really cute, and I'm glad that you get several of them. I individually priced, let me look up and see what they were individually priced here. And I'm just going to let this dry a little bit while I'm doing that. Make my face feel really good with the hyaluronic acid and the marine extract. 
so let's go to you can also find so a lot of these some of these will be available some stuff that i talk about is available at other sites but if you go to hip dot they do have discount codes i don't remember which one that i used but you can do a search and find them so the set that i bought was 94 dollars. i think i had a 10 or 15 percent off of that um individually it is for the eye palette by itself is 36 dollars so this is $36, which I don't think is a bad price, and it's really heavy, and it's good weight. I got it super fast. I ordered it. I think I had it in three days. The Jellyfish Lip Trio, which is three of their lip glosses, they are $30 a piece. And then the Sandy Cheeks Blush Bronzer, this is $18. And then face mask for a four pack for four of them they are twenty dollars for that so i think they're reasonably priced for what you get i think this feels really good i feel like i still have a lot of liquid on my face but you always kind of want to rub that in to really get all the nutrients i'm gonna rub it in my beard it feels really good Especially during the summer, man, if you are having a hot day and just feel like your skin has been beat up a little bit, put these in the fridge and just have a fun little mask. It's going to be good for kids, too, if you want to run around looking like Spongebob or Patrick. And I'm bald, so I'm going to rub it all through my bald head. It's really smooth. Feels good. Doesn't have a scent or really an overpowering scent. Um, does I'm gonna say it does feel a little slimy, but most of these um, masks that are like this do feel like that. So just keep that in mind. I think it feels really good. Fan a little bit to dry. Have you guys tried the SpongeBob palette? Are you following me on Instagram and Twitter, Orbiting Live? Have you bought anything from Hip Dot? We're going to go ahead and try the lip gloss, though, so, and see what these are all about. So you get three colors on this. Jellyfish three-pack lip gloss set. Jumpin' Jellyfish Puckerfish won't have a thing on you with this set. Jelly jam packed with three tubes of lip gloss. Shade names are Fillin' Pineapple, Coral Number no. 5, and Sea Stargazer. Ooh, one of them is sparkly. So that is what they look like. This one is the Filling Pineapple. It's like a nice gold shimmer. And then we have the Coral. And I think this does have a little bit of shimmer in it as well. And then we have the Sea Star Gazer. And this just looks like a plain gloss. So we're going to give these a try and see what they look like. So they're going to perform differently over lipstick too so keep that in mind let's give this a shot that is what the wand looks like it kind of looks like that it kind of has the same thing as like the jeffree star from what i've seen that his um concealer has so this is very it's very thick I've had this in the fridge though, so keep that in mind. It doesn't have a lot of color, of course. It has no scent. It's not sticky at all. But that is kind of what that one looks like. Not a lot of color. It'd just be a nice gloss to put over another liquid lip, probably a matte one. So let it dry down a little bit. It is a little sticky, but that is the Sea Star Gazer. Okay, let's take that off. It felt good on the lips. It is just slightly colored. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. So that would be really good over like a nude lip. Coral number five. Why coral number five is blue is beyond me. Same type of wand. This one reminds me of milk. Like I said, it was in the fridge, so it probably won't feel this thick. 
you can hardly notice any change whatsoever. But they feel good. It is a little shiny. And then we are now going to try the pineapple, what was it? Feeling pineapple. I think these are good glosses. I think they'd be really nice over a liquid lip. Ah, yeah. Oh yeah, that's got a lot of shimmer. I don't know if it's picking it up, but man, you can see a lot of the gold reflex. And that, and that is filling pineapple. This is probably my favorite. I think if you want to spice up any look, if you have a matte lip and you just want like a nice gold reflex on top of it, I would definitely go with that. I don't think these are sold individually. I think you have to buy them as a trio. But I think they're good lip glosses. They feel really good. I think that's my favorite. So are you excited about the SpongeBob palette? Uh, I will be trying it eventually once I get through my medication and stuff. And if you haven't watched my last video, it tells you what I'm talking about. But my skin, it's just, you know, it is what it is. I'm not 100% feeling where I want to just slather on a bunch of makeup and deal with taking it off and all that good stuff. But I was super excited about this. I'm a sucker for packaging. I think Hip Dot has great customer service. They have great shipping. Um, the prices were pretty good on all this. I really like this a lot. I am excited to try that over some other stuff. So I like the mask. I think it felt really good. It's really refreshing. My skin just felt a little tacky. So that'd probably be really good to put over makeup. You can kind of use it as a primer if you wanted to. It probably would work. I would say it would work really well. So that is the SpongeBob Hip Dot X SpongeBob collection from Hip Dot. Have you tried any of their products? What do you think? Let me know down below. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter at Orbiting Live. Leave me messages, comments. What do you think? Are you going to try this? Uh, yeah, so I hope everyone's having a great day, evening, night, and I hope to see you guys in the near future. Have a great day. Bye.